Hello everyone, welcome to another product review with me, John. Today I'm going to be reviewing a product that is currently only available that I know in the UK. Uh, this product is made by the Coca-Cola company. And they are what you see in front of me. They are four different, um, what they're calling Coca-Cola signature mixes. Um, these mixes are number one is smoky, number two is spicy, number three is herbal, and number four is woody. Now I'll describe them as I go along here. But these are uh, Coke mixed with different flavorings and other uh, items that um, might have a sense to them. Um, that you're supposed to be mix it with a dark liquor of your choice. Um, each one of them, they suggest something to use, and I'll go. I'll also mention that as I go along as well. Um, but let's just get started, and we're going to start off with number one. Number one, Coca-Cola signature mixer, Smoky, and this is co-created by Max Venning, master mixologist. Not sure uh, exactly who that is, um, but this has these flavors, Ylang Ylang, Amber Seed, Peru Balsam, Oak Extract, and Wick Whack Wood. Who knows? But this one, um, the smoky one, it says that you can mix this, well, it suggests that you mix this with either bourbon or dark rum. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with um, some Elijah Craig bourbon. It says to use a uh, premium liquor. And I think Elijah Craig fits that well. Being from the UK, all their um, um, recipe measurements are all in milliliters. But uh, I only have this ounce. Uh, measuring device that I'm going to use. So I'm, the math is going to be a little bit fudged, but 50 milliliters to 125 milliliters is the recommendation. Um, so what I'm just I'm going to just use one ounces to two ounces. I know that's one to two instead of one to two and a half, but we're going to make it work. As you can see in my glass, I have one ice cube. And we're going to go ahead and mix this. Two ounces of the smoky mixture. I did want to taste this before I add liquor to it, too. It's almost uh, root beer like. We're going to add an ounce of the bourbon. We're going to give that a little stir. And let's try this out. We have Coca-Cola Smoky mixed with Elijah Kripper. Um Online, it does say that this is um, supposed to be garnished with an orange peel. Um, I don't have an uh, orange peel, so we're just going to go without the uh, garnishes for these. Cheers. It is um, a little sweet, but um, now I'm thinking about it, what did I expect from a Coca-Cola mixture? It was going to be sweet. And of the of the whiskey categories, the bourbon's probably one of the sweetest. 
And they also say that uh, rum could work with this one as well. Which is also one of the sweeter liquors. Okay. I gotta say, I wasn't overwhelmingly impressed with impressed with that one. It's a little bit smoky, but uh, I don't know. Let's see if the other ones are any better. Moving on to mixture number two, we have spicy. You can see that has lime, ginger, rosemary, jasmine, and jalapeno as flavors. For the spicy one, they suggest a scotch whiskey or a golden tequila. Uh, I don't have a golden tequila, but I do have a gold mezcal. And it's similar enough that I think this should work. Fresh cup. Its own thing of ice in it. We're going to do the same thing. Two ounces to one ounce. And I'm going to flip it over and actually use the two ounce side. Well, taste a little bit by itself. The uh, the spicy of the jalapeno is very faint. It's noticeable, but it's faint. And we're gonna mix an ounce of this mezcal. This is Delirio de Oaxaca Mezcal Reposado Premium. It's kind of hard to see it off the, the uh, bottle. There's the thing there. It does say Mezcal Premium right on the thing. So they're calling themselves a premium liquor. So it should work. Give this a little stir as well. All right, now we have our spicy Coke and mezcal cocktail. This one suggests a ginger slice as a garnish. This one, the uh, mezcal, really uh, is the noticeable scent in this. That one's pretty good. The mezcal has a smoky agave flavor to it. And for some reason, that uh, the jalapeno that was faint, the smokiness kind of brings it out more. That's a pretty good one. All right, Coke Mixer Cocktail number two down. This one I like a lot. On to number, let's move this over here. Number three, which is herbal. See herbal, it says hops, dill seed, tagets, and lemongrass. Have a, a fresh cup with some fresh ice in it. Again, we're going to use two ounces. You can smell the dill in this one a lot. Right. I'm going to get a little taste without any mixer in it. 
the Dylan is so strong. And it tastes, you can taste the dill as well. So for this one, what it suggests is that you mix it with either a cognac or a scotch. And I have Johnny Walker Double Black, which is a mixed, a blended scotch. And I would say it's a premium liquor. I'm going to add an ounce of that. We're going to give it a stir. All right. The scotch and the dill kind of had blended together. You can definitely smell both of them. This one says to garnish it with a basil leaf. And I can see that because the herbal of the, the dill, um, you, you would get more with the, the basil. Uh, basil usually has a, a pretty strong smell to it as well. This one is pleasant the herbaliness of it. Yeah. I wish I did have some uh, basil for this because I think that would really uh, elevate the, the smell and really make a, a complete cocktail. Okay. I like that one as well. I think um, ooh, it's a close one between that one and the spicy for sure. They're both definitely better than the smoky. All right, then we for the final one, get one more cup here with some ice in it. This one is woody, and it says patchouli. Balsam, copyra, basil, vetiver, and yuzu. This one also says to uh, mix it with either a bourbon or a dark rum, just like the smoky one. Um, the suggested garnish for this is apple slices. Now, this since this one and the smoky one both said bourbon or rum, uh, I had to decide which one I want to try with bourbon, which one I want to try with rum. And smoky and woody, to me, they kind of seem very similar. Uh, you can't have smoke without burning wood, so I'm expecting woody to be more of a fresh wood than a, a burnt wood. Anyway, let's go ahead and mix our two ounces of the woody coke. Give it a little taste myself. I'm really not tasting a whole lot from that. Besides just Coke flavor. For this one, we're going to mix it with this Plantation Barbados rum. It's aged five years. I'm going to add one ounce of rum. Yeah, and I know I'm not uh, I'm not cleaning my not cleaning my measuring device or my stirring spoon between these. So there might be a little bit of cross contamination of flavors, but I'm telling you a little bit of something compared to a full ounce of something else. I don't think there should be that much of an issue in flavor. Well, that spiced rum 
is pretty spicy. Let's see how this one tastes. I really like this plantation rum, but really this tastes like a rum and coke to me. It doesn't taste like rum and a special coke. All right. I'm guessing you could tell that one was my favorite either. But going back through these, I'm going to tell you which ones I think are good and maybe how they can improve on some of them. I think my favorite here is herbal. Herbal, definitely you get a very dill forward smell and taste profile. Um, it really mixed well with the scotch. Uh, I think the cognac will work just as well, and I think the basil leaf suggestion, uh, next time I make this cocktail, I'm, gonna th I'm thinking about going out and get some fresh basil leaves because I think that would really improve it, make it even better than it is. The herbal coke mixer is my favorite by far. Second is the smoky, is a spicy variety. Um, I mix this with a aged mezcal. Um, I think the smokiness of the like the burnt agave flavor, the spiciness of this, and a little bit of jalapeno in it, really worked well together. It's definitely my second favorite of them. Uh, it also suggests that you could do this with Scotch whiskey as well. Um, and then the last two, smoky and woody. I think I like smoky a little bit better. It had a little bit of something to it, whereas the woody one didn't have too much. Uh, I didn't taste any of these extra things. This one, at least when I tasted it by itself, it tasted more like a, a root beer, like you had like some spicy rootiness to it. Whereas the woody one, the flavors, maybe they're just not strong enough. Um, I think if you're going to call it woody, you definitely need more to it. This one just kind of tasted like regular Coke to me. And then when you mix it with rum, because it specifically says spice rum, whereas the, the smoky one says dark rum, the woody is specifically says spice rum. And this rum... Spiciness of this rum just overpowered the woody Coke that really just tasted like Coke. Um, you can also mix it with bourbon, but I think in that case it's just going to taste like uh, Coke and whiskey, not anything woody. This one is the one you have to improve on the most, in my opinion, because the woody, the woodiness of it. It's just not coming out for me. Um, overall, as a line, I'm kind of fairly disappointed in it. Uh, I think you could probably do a lot better by yourself just by mixing like a, a liquid smoke with in, in the smokiness for that one or just lighting a match under a glass and get some smoke in it, burn a little bit of wood Put some smoke in a glass, or just use a more smoky uh, liquor to it. Um, so overall, I like the idea that Coca-Cola is doing here and making their own specialty mixers. Um, from what I read online, they're already in progress of making their next batches of them. Um, I don't know if they're going with the same uh, smoky, spicy, herbal, woody profiles and improving on that or if they're going to go for f just four all new flavors but hopefully they do a little bit better next time um these ones just uh these two this one especially but these two really didn't hold up uh 
these two, definitely the better of the four. Well then, I hope you enjoy this video, watching me drink these Coca-Cola signature mixtures with these premium uh, alcohols. We had uh, Plantation, Johnny Walker, Delirio, and Elijah Craig. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.